Okay, what's up, guys? Um, I have this, as you can see, a computer thing. It's a Cooler Master One. It came with a case that I returned. Forgot to send that back. And the cable's way too short to fit in my PC. But I also have this, which is a power supply for a Roku 4. It outputs about 12 volts, 2 amps. Let's see how much power this fan needs. 12, 12 volts, 0.16 amps. I wonder how much that will vary. All right, so the voltage is right, but the amperage is not. Um, we're just gonna just YOLO it. Like, come on, why not? Um, yeah, why not? I just said. So I got my wire stripper here. I'm just gonna cut this off. Good, that's cut off. And now for the hard part. Stripping this wire. Good. It's good to know the pin out. So apparently this is ground. The stuff on the outside. And the stuff on the inside. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. The outside. That is ground. But on the inside. This white wire, that looks to be, I mean, no, let me check. Outside's ground, inside is positive. So this is the powered cable. Why well, I like to call it the powered one. Good. That is what we're gonna test first. If I'm wrong, well, then I don't know what will happen. Right now I'm gonna get a couple connectors those things that you just put a cap over it. Kind of like a twist on cap. Uh, I'll get that later actually, where I cut the video. Now, I gotta know how this fan works. So according to a diagram I have up on my computer, um, ground. This one right here, the one all the way to the right, your right, is ground. The one in the middle is plus 12 volts. So now here's how I remove them. Let's do uh, plus 12 volts first. That would be the middle. I use an old tweezer and press it. It should just pull right out. Yeah, this one's actually easier than most of them. And it's big. So we can work with it easily. Pause. Um, okay. I like to flatten it like that. Peel it back and what is this? 12 volt? Yes. That was plus 12 volts. So remember, we assume that the one here. The one coming from the center is plus 12 volts, so I'm gonna get my connector, I'll cut the video here. As you see, I've got my two connectors now. Now it is time to try to connect that up. How hard can it be? Uh, quite hard. Um, yeah, we need alternative methods now. How about, um, let's use electrical tape. Yeah, why not? It's electrical tape. It's an insulator. I was thinking this is an insulator, so that, well, because it, um, protects current from spreading. I expect this invention that I'm doing now to last a few weeks. Mm. Oh wait, can you see that? Yeah. 
just winding it around there. Good. Then I twist, actually I press it together and hope that it stays together for a while at least. I might actually just cap it off later as well. Now, let's see. That's ground. The one to the left is ground. I'm gonna press on it, like I said. Okay, I heard that, and like I said, pops right out. Now, have it touch each other. Pause. Pause on that, if you understand what I mean. Good, I hope you don't. Should I edit that out? Nah, everything goes in here. Pause again. <sighs> if necessary. Anyway, another piece of electrical tape. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Uh, if it catches on fire when I plug it in, better have the water ready. All right, one more thing. I just want to tape it all together like that. This will just be a mess of electrical tape. Let's just say that. The cable management in this thing is not spot on. Alright, that's good enough. Now, get ready. I didn't need those connectors, just need the electrical tape. Yep, two free plugs over there. Better capture this on camera. What can I use to support it? This. Alright, three, two, one, go. Yo, it's working. You hear that? You hear it? You hear the wind? And it's spinning the right direction. Yeah, so it is working good. I just built myself a fan. So, um, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you want to build a fan like that, you can as well. I built one for myself. You can do it too. There you go. Subscribe. If you like this, like it. If you like it, obviously. And check out some more cool videos that I do. Yeah, it's about tech. So, there you go. I think that's good.